Okay, good. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Adrian Bell, Adrian Cadillac Bell on all social media outlets. And this is the new Builder Brother segment of the channel. Okay. Um, January 1st of last year, I uh, ventured into authorship and I wrote my first book, um, Builder Brother Lessons Every Man Should Know. See, see. But I'm not, I'm not, we gonna get back to this. I'm not here to talk about that today. Um, what I, I wanted to do with this segment, um, I am getting ready to go under the knife, y'all. Bless the Lord. Um, so, funny thing, um, I know I'm really, really outgoing and so forth and so forth. Um, acting has always been a passion of mine. Um, so you would think that you know, confidence has always been there for me. Um, but it has always been a little issue, um, honestly. And this is me being vulnerable. I'm really letting y'all in on, on some on some stuff about myself. Um, so it was something that I really, really battled with uh, my entire life. And but I, I put a I put on a good show. I'm a good actor. Uh, really good at what I do. <laughs> um, but uh, I really, really battled with like my confidence growing up um, because, you know, we all want to be like the best version of selves. We always have uh, things that we want to change about ourselves, um, things that we want to make better, we want to improve, um, you know. And one thing that has always, 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 always hear me, people, it has always bothered me. And this is tough for me to do this video right now because it's in my head. Um, so in my family, um, we have uh majority of us have an underbite. Um, my mom had it. Uh, my mom has it. My sister has it. Uh, my dad and my brother, who are both gone, God rest their souls, um, they didn't. They were the only ones that had, like, the regular face. Um, <laughs> regular face. Uh, but so I deal with it. You know, my mom deal with it, and my sister has it. But it has always been something that I've been very, very self-conscious about. Um, I will go as far as saying that it has been something that I hated about myself growing up, honestly. Um, the fact of, um, how my, my bottom jaw sticks out further than my top, um, and never really got, you know, comfortable with it. I just dealt with it. It's my face. You gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. You, you know, um, so I, I, I dealt with it. All these years, 37 years. Um, I'm 37 now, I turned 30. I turned 38 this year. Oh, <laughs> shucks. Um, okay, so 37 going on 38. Um, yeah, so I've been dealing with, dealing with this this underbite for 30, 37 years. And um, it has always affected my self-confidence um and uh it has even worked its way into uh like me like my actor you know uh, actor side because i do not like watching myself on film um because of the way that my mouth is positioned a lot of times if a camera get me from a certain angle i just don't i don't like how it how it looks on film um so, uh, a few years ago, I decided that it was something that I wanted to fix. And uh talked to the wife about it. And, you know, y'all know Brittany. Brittany supports me in whatever I want to do. Uh, so, I told her that I really wanted to get the braces because I had teeth that were actually turned completely sideways on the bottom. Like my bottom was really bad. A couple teeth that were crooked on the bottom. Um, top teeth were always, always pretty good. Um, but the the bottom was in bad shape. So it was something that I always wanted to fix. And um I thought about getting Invisalign. They said today, well, Smile Direct. Y'all remember Smile Direct. Um they said that I needed the the work was too severe, so I had to get regular braces. Before I could go to the braces route. I had a lot of crowding, um, so I had to have uh, all four of my wisdom teeth pulled, which I was already missing like 
one or two because they had cracked over years. Um, but I had to have all my wisdom teeth removed. Um, and then once that was done, which had they had to heal and close up and all that good stuff, I had to go back and have an additional four more pulled, I think, um, top and bottom, so they matched up. Um, and I had to do that before I got the braces, you know, so uh, finally turned around and, you know, healed after all the teeth were pulled um, and and jumped on this 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 journey to fix fix my mouth man fix my fix my bite and um i went and got the braces i have pictures of all of this stuff so i'm gonna be showing y'all all of these all of these pictures um you know of this whole process because i really wanted to kind of keep track of how my face changed how my mouth changed and stuff like that i had never seen my like my mouth and my teeth straight before so once i finally got it to the point where all my teeth were straight on the bottom i lost it um just a super hype for me in my life um but in this season after uh three four years like of going through this process i had to have the braces i still had the braces on tops and bottoms um the plan was for me to have the braces for two and a half years um, and then the surgery in the midst of the braces as well. And um, it took a little longer than expected. Um, date got kind of moved here and there. Um, but I wanted to just allow y'all to take this journey with me as I go through this process. On last week, I was able to sign that sign that contract you know and um get my surgery date so january 26 friday january 26 2024 the your guy will be going under the knife oh jesus i ain't ready but i'm ready uh so they gotta so here's the thing they gotta break my bottom jaw um uh, well cut into the bottom jaw and then they shift it back. They do the same thing to the top and shift it out so they line up um, perfectly. And uh, I understand that I'm a, you know, I seen this one girl who who went through the process and shared her videos and she called herself Quagmire. So I'm a, I guess I'm gonna be rocking the Quagmire for a little bit. Um, but I definitely wanted to give y'all access to it, man, so y'all can take this journey with me. Um, I, I really do care about my appearance. <laughs> I really care about my appearance. I'm so bad that I'm getting a haircut before I go um, the day before I, I go to, to have my surgery. I got to be right. Uh, something got to be right. Um, and I don't play by my, by my ways, uh, for the record. But, again, I just wanted y'all to take this journey with me, man. So, um, hop in the back seat, ride out with your boy. Um, and uh, we just going to see how it go, man. But again, I wanted to to allow y'all to take this journey with me, man. And just I'm opening, opening up myself to y'all, opening up my heart, and just really, really showing some transparency. I think that's what Build a Brother is all about, um, building and growing, and and just going forth, um, fulfilling fulfilling your life of purpose, man. So um, it's a uh, something that I have been chasing uh, for years, for years, 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 and. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm really, really excited. I thought that I would be nervous right now about next week, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm just ready to get, you know, I'm just ready to like feel like that. You feel me? <laughs> I called my mama and I told my mama when I got when I got approved. Um, and when when they gave me the date, I called my mom, and mom said, "I said, hey, mom, they um, uh, my surgery got approved. And I told her the date." She said, oh, baby, I don't know what you're going to do. You already fine. You're just going to get fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I don't know what I'm going to do, people. I really don't. Um, but, again, I just want y'all to take the journey with me, man. So, um, again, hop in the back seat. Ride out with your boy. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Bless y'all. Love.